Edward Quillen, March 31, 1907, July 19, 1990, was an American film actor and singer whose career began as a child on the vaudeville stages and silent film and continued through the age of television in the 1980s. Vaudeville and silent films Born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, into a family of vaudeville performers, Quillen made his stage debut at the age of seven alongside his parents, Scottish-born Joseph Quillen and his wife Sarah, as well as his siblings in their act titled The Rising Generation. By the early 1920s he was called upon by film director Max Sennett to perform a screen test for Max Sennett Studios. Sennett signed Quillen to a contract in 1922. Quillen's very first film appearance was in the 1922 comedy short Up and Itum. His next performance was in the 1926 comedy short The Love Sunday opposite actress Alice Day. His next ten film appearances, all released in 1926, were all comedy shorts that were vehicles for Day. He would spend most of the remaining years of the 1920s in comedy shorts featuring actresses Ruth Taylor and Madeline Herlock. In 1928, Quillen starred in the comedy A Little Bit of Everything, notable because it featured his siblings Marie, Joseph and John in starring roles. Marie Quillen would eventually embark on a film career of her own and appear opposite her brother once more, in the 1929 comedy Nosy Neighbors. Quillen's first feature-length film was the 1928 comedy drama show Folks opposite actress Lena Bosquet in which Quillen appropriately plays a vaudeville dancer. The film was a modest success and also featured actress Carol Lombard. Quillen's breakout role, and first dramatic film role, was in the 1929 Cecil B. DeMille directed silent film The Godless Girl. The film paired Quillen once again with Busquette and starred Marie Prévost and Noah Beery, Sr. His subsequent exposure from the film landed him a contract with Pate Studios. Talkies and Television Quillen would remain a popular leading and secondary actor throughout the sound film era and would appear in such notable films as 1935's Mutiny on the Bounty with Clark Gable, Charles Lawton, and Frank Gatone, 1939's Young Mr. Lincoln opposite Henry Fonda and Alice Brady, as Connie Rivers and John Ford's 1940 film adaptation of the John Steinbeck novel The Grapes of Wrath opposite Henry Fonda. In 1943's Alaska Highway and attained Hay opposite the comedic duo Abbott and Castello. Quillen's brazy screen personality was seen in B-musicals, comedies, and even serials during the 1940s. In 1948 Columbia Pictures producer Jules White teamed Quillen with veteran movie comic Wally Vernon for a series of comedy short subjects. White emphasized extreme physical comedy in these films, and Vernon and Quillen made a good team, enthusiastically engaging in pratfalling, kick in the pants slapstick. The series ran through 1956. Beginning in the late 1950s, Quillen began to make the transition to the medium of television and by the 1960s could be seen frequently appearing as a guest actor in such series as The Andy Griffith Show, Petticoat Junction, Perry Mason, and approximately five appearances on the camp horror comedy series The Addams Family. He was a regular on the Anthony Franchosa sitcom Valentine's Day from 1964 to 1965 and from 1968 through 1971 he appeared as Eddie Edson on the television comedy Julia opposite actress Diane Carroll. Through the 1950s and 1960s, Quillen continued to appear in motion pictures, but in increasingly smaller roles and often in bit parts. One notable appearance of the era was his role of Sandy in the 1954 Vincente Minnelli-directed musical Brigadoon, starring Gene Kelly, Van Johnson, and Sid Charisse. Quillen also appeared in the uncredited role of Mr. Cassidy in the 1969 Gene Kelly film adaptation of Hello, Dolly, starring Barbara Streisand and Walter Matthau and featuring Louis Armstrong. Quillen appeared in My Three Sons as Mr. Hewlett, 1961, and also appeared on the Western television adventure series The Rifleman as Angus Evans. He appeared twice in the fourth season, in Mark's Rifle, episode 150, and Conflict. Episode 155. Quillen was cast as Hill Beachy in the 1961 episode, Trial by Fear on the syndicated anthology series, Death Valley Days, hosted by Stanley Andrews. In the storyline, Beachy seeks to prove that two hoodlums murdered his fellow businessman, Lloyd Magruder, Phil Chambers. In the 1970s, Quillen made guest appearances on such varied television series as Mannix, Here's Lucy, Chico and the Man in Beretta. After meeting and befriending actor and director Michael Landon, he played numerous bit roles in the popular television series Little House on the Prairie. Quillen also performed in the Landon-directed series Highway to Heaven and Father Murphy during the 1980s. Quillen made his last television appearance in a 1987 episode of the television crime mystery series Matlock. Death Quillen died of cancer in North Hollywood, California in 1990 and was interred at the San Fernando Mission Cemetery in Mission Hills, Los Angeles, California.